Our skin is one of the non-specific barriers of the immune system. This is known as the innate immune system. Our skin can be divided into three layers, the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. For this video, we're going to focus on the epidermis. There are three main roles that the epidermis plays to provide this innate defense, a physical barrier, secretions, and immune cells. Starting with the physical barrier. The epidermis is made up of multiple layers of keratinocytes, these are cells that produce a protein known as keratin. These keratinocytes are born in the basale layer, and once they mature, or they can't reproduce anymore or replicate anymore, they start to migrate into the sponosum layer, which is eight to 10 layers thick. As they move to the top, they undergo a process called keratinization, and they move into the granulosum layer where they start to thin and die off, eventually moving up and flaking off in the corneum layer. It's in these layers that the physical barrier is most pronounced. A substance called a glycolipid is produced, which helps the cells, the dead cells, to cement together, which makes it very difficult for pathogens to migrate through this layer. The exfoliation makes it more difficult for certain microorganisms to live on the top layers. And then finally, we have a lot of common cell flora that live at the top of these layers, and these crowd out any nasty pathogenic microorganisms. Moving to function two, secretions. So dead keratinocytes secrete a certain natural antibody called defensins, which help to pierce holes within certain bacteria. Sebaceous glands produce an oily substance known as sebum, which particularly contains lactic acid, which drops the pH on the top of the skin to approximately three to five, and that makes it more difficult for certain microorganisms to live. And then sweat, contains an important protein called dermicidin, which helps to destroy bacteria and fungi. Finally, there's a specialized immune cell, which is like a type of resident macrophage. These are known as Langerhans cells. These cells act as the outer guards of the immune system, and they're the first to respond to any possible pathogenic breach that goes into the epidermis. These Langerhans cells sense the microenvironment in the spinosal layer, and they look for presence of certain microorganisms, the chemicals they produce, and any injured cells. When they sense danger, they will send chemical signals down into the dermis, which will begin the inflammatory process and also help T cells to migrate up for some specialized help. 